just a feeling of the Democrats kind of leans in that, in that direction, something for nothing, um, steal from the rich, give to the poor, tax people making a lot of money. I mean, uh, most of these people making a lot of that money are the ones that are employing a lot of people. You want it growing. You want it to continue being the number one economy. And if you start um, taxing big corporations more, smaller business owners more, I think you're gonna you're gonna slow down that growth. But about Trumpy in general, look, in my opinion, he is a businessman. He's an entrepreneur. As crazy as a lot of the shit he says that he's going to do, businessmen and entrepreneurs, when they say they're going to do something, they do it. All right, y'all, election season is upon us. We are in the heat of battle, baby. Two months from now, we're going to have a new El Presidente. Is it going to be Trump? Is it going to be Harris? How does that infect, affect, not infect, how does that infect us with the COVID? No, 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 no COVID video, no. How does that affect us as investors, right? Now, you know, me personally, just from a business perspective, I like the Trump administration just purely from a business perspective. That's all I'm trying to frame this as right now. We're just going to look at it as investors. How, how, how much money did we make and things of that nature? Uh, just from just that little box of business, business was better. I made more money. Holton Wise made more money. My clients, my investors, we made more money in the Trump administration than the Biden administration. Does that mean I didn't make any money in the Biden administration? No, dude, I made a whole bunch of it, okay? But it was even easier to make money during the Trump administration. So because of that, I like Trump uh, for investors, and I think Trump will be better for investors and housing and making money than I think Kamala will be, okay? That's my take on it, right? But that's just me, okay? That's just how I feel. I wanted to give you guys some more insights and stuff. So I was uh, tasking my partner out in Toledo, Angelo Ramora. You know, he's got a totally different worldview and perspective than I do, right? Because I'm only used to American politics and things of that nature. But my partner, Angelo, you know, you guys know him. They do all of our property management groundwork. All of that boots on the ground stuff whenever we're dealing with Toledo properties. I was talking to him. I'm like, dude, let me know. Just shoot me a video. Let me know what you think on this. I want to get your perspective, brother, because like you are unique in the fact that you're an investor, you're in housing, you're in Ohio, just like I am. And we're doing a lot of the same stuff. We're working together. But this dude, y'all, he's lived in a ton of different countries and he's from Australia. So he's got like a totally unique perspective. He's able to look at how these policies and the presidents and the politics and stuff, how they they affect our ability to make money as business owners. But he's looking at it from an outside perspective. So I really wanted to bring that to you guys. So let's take a look at what he told me. G'day everyone, Angelo Ramora here with Oz Realty doing a video for my good bum buddy, James Wise with Holton Wise. Well, actually, let me take my um, glasses off quickly. Never trust anyone wearing sunglasses and doing a video. There's just something to be said about not being able to see their eyes. Um, I want you guys to see my eyes, um, just so you know that I'm not bullshitting you. Anyway, so James has been bothering me forever now. Uh, when are we going to do another video? When are you going to do a video? Um, I want to do short videos with you. And uh, I'm actually on my way to Cleveland right now for a meeting, Cleveland Thieveland. Um, and he never invites me to his office. I was hoping that we could finally, you know, put him on the table to see which one's short, which one's long. I mean, he loves all of the short videos, so I'm just gonna make an assumption that, you know, he's got a short one. I love the long videos, so that's pretty much that. Um, but uh, yeah, he wants me to do a video about my thoughts on Cammy and Trumpy. Um, and look, God bless America. I love you guys. You fucking absolutely love your politics, you know? Um, you get into bar fights, arguments, and I'm always just listening to it and, and shaking my head. I can't believe it. You know, us Aussies, we really don't give a fuck. And why I never cared is I never thought it could affect me on a micro market level. And I guess that's my message to you. No matter who the president is, 
if you're a small business owner like myself and and James, I guess we consider ourselves small business owners, we can adjust, we can adapt, we can shift no matter what the um, new laws are, no matter who is in charge of the government. Um, we're very adaptable because again, we're small so we can move quicker. Now granted, if you were the CEO of Uber or Airbnb, yeah, you should probably kiss in the Republicans' ass and the Democrats' ass just in case um, one of the other wins. So uh, look, again, I love you guys, I love your passion, uh, but I really don't think it's gonna make a big difference for a lot of small business owners. That's just my opinion. I, I will say this, uh, personally, I don't like communism. Um, I don't think anyone really likes communism. And for whatever reason, just the feeling of the Democrats kind of leans in that, in that direction, something for nothing, um, steal from the rich, give to the poor, tax people making a lot of money. I mean, uh, most of these people making a lot of that money are the ones that are employing a lot of people. Like I know firsthand, if you minimize my taxes, it gives me a bigger budget to hire more people, meaning you're gonna have less unemployed, unemployed people. Yes, I'm gonna make more money, but being a true entrepreneur and a true business owner, um, you're always looking to grow your business. You're always looking to automate it, systemize it, optimize it, and you can't do that. You can't do that if you don't have enough money in the kitty. So if you start taxing me more, I start paying my people less or I stop hiring. So it's just not good for the economy in general. You want it growing. You want it to continue being the number one economy. And if you start um, taxing big corporations more, smaller business owners more, I think you're gonna you're gonna slow down that growth. Another thing that I do want to mention about our Trumpy, well, not our Trumpy, but about Trumpy in general. Look, in my opinion, he is a businessman. He's an entrepreneur. As crazy as a lot of the shit he says that he's going to do, businessmen and entrepreneurs, when they say they're going to do something, they do it. Now, you only find out if it's right or wrong after it's done. Politicians, on the other hand, tell you what you want to hear, but they never execute on that. So I guess my question to you guys is, what would you rather? Would you rather someone say what they're gonna do even though it's wrong, or someone tell you what you wanna hear and never fucking do it, right? Again, I don't give a shit. And you know what? It's pretty bloody cool being an Aussie and living in the US. I've been here for 12 years now, and um, I literally get fucking stopped every day. As soon as someone hears my accent, they're like, hey, where are you from? You know, and of course I told them where I'm from and then the follow-up question is they want to hear about how big my snake is. Uh, I mean, are there many snakes in Australia? Crocodiles, sharks, and all of that fun stuff. I literally just start telling people, I was kidding, I'm actually from North Carolina just to avoid all of the, you know, snake talk. Um, but look, I love being here. Uh, I love living here, I love working here. Uh, I love the American people. You guys have a light soul. You're motivated. Um, everything just seems to work here. I, I, every time I visit overseas, I can't wait to come back because, again, I truly believe this is the best country in the world. But I do want to share something with you guys which really fucking pisses me off, and I just don't get it. And, and that is, I've been, I've been hearing some of you guys saying, oh, if Cami wins, I'm going to move away from the US. Oh, if Trumpy wins, I'm going to move away from the US. Like, guys, what the fuck is wrong with you? That's the biggest bunch of bullshit that I've ever heard in my life. Look, the grass is not greener on the other side. I know all of you guys get, you know, uh, uh, bewildered with France and Italy and all those Instagram short videos and all of that bullshit. But listen, guys, I have lived all over the world. I've got Croatian citizenship because my parents are Croatian. So I've got all of Europe covered. I was born in Australia. Spent half of my life there, so I've got Australia covered. I've got a green card here in the US, so I've got America covered. The only two fucking continents I don't have covered is fucking Antarctica, Antarctica if that even is a continent, and Africa and Asia. Look, the grass isn't greener on the other side. Um, take it from someone that's lived all over, from Hong Kong to Italy to France to Hungary to Croatia to Australia. Shit does not function anywhere else in the world like it functions here. Other countries have corruption like you would not fucking believe. The politics is a disaster. And I'm talking about prime ministers taking bribes to sell or to give approval for certain companies to be sold. Bureaucracy. 
How about you complain about waiting two hours at the BMV to get your driver's license extended? How about waiting six months and having to bribe people to get your fucking driver's license done? How about the internet not working in Uni Credit Bank in Milan when I live there? Guys, it's a fucking nightmare, I'm telling you. Now, for all of you that want to move, please, be my guest, move. I can almost but guarantee you that you will come back within three months, just like I do every time I come back to the US and kiss the floor. Now, look, you guys, as much as I love you, and I truly do, from the bottom of my heart, I love the American people. I really, really do. You're not the most sophisticated and the smartest individuals, and I'll tell you why. The schooling system is shit. You don't learn about world geography. You don't learn about world culture. You don't learn about world history. You just learn about your fucking history, and you haven't even existed for 200 years. Well, maybe you have, but whatever. It doesn't matter. So I encourage you, take your saucy USD, go to France, experience the culture, eat their fucking croissants, you know, I don't know, go fucking grab the Mona Lisa by the boob. Oh, sorry, that sounded um sexist. Maybe beep that one out, James. Well, don't grab it by the boob. Maybe grab it by the fucking dick. I don't know. Maybe she's non-binary, right? Um, and enjoy the culture. Learn, sightsee, and come back here. Bring your ass back here. And look, nowhere else in the world can you achieve what you can achieve in America. You can create a better life for you, for your loved ones, because again, shit just fucking works here. Again, the grass is not greener on the other side, so I don't want to hear you saying you're going to move if Cammy wins or if Trumpy wins. Be blessed to be American. Other people, what they would give to come here, what they would give to live here, what I had to go through to get my residency to be here is unimaginable. And you guys are saying you're just going to leave? Give me a fucking break, honestly. I, I, I don't like hearing it, guys. I don't like hearing it. I would renounce every one of my citizenship that I have right now to be American, to be to be able to be say that I was born in America. That's how much I fucking love it. And I'm not a patriot, but I, I just I just love this country, what it's given me, the opportunity that it's given me. You will not find anywhere near as much opportunity anywhere else as you will here. And again, one last time again, if you don't like it, fuck off. Leave. It's as simple as that. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.